This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Welcome back. Now let's see what Kyle and Dwayne are up to on Plain Talk. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer with Plain Talk. With the man who was going to wear his camouflage shirt today, but he couldn't find it, Dwayne Taves. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. You're always worried when I come up with those, don't you? Yeah, it makes me nervous. It, when it you makes start you that. really nervous. It's like just how far under the bus is he going to Every once in a while, today? you kind of sometimes you, they hurt because they're true. Hey, every once in a while, you a little, yeah. little, little like, touchy, a little sensitive. It's like, it's like well, okay, from now on, I you can you can take digs at me. If they ever did outtakes of this program, uh-huh. which I know they could because we've had plenty, but they've never actually published or shown them on TV, right? Hope they don't, but we do have a lot of fun. You know, I think it was before your time, we had a young man working here in the summer, and I used to have a bad uh, habit of not erasing uh, when I would do a cut, an ad or whatever, and it wasn't any good, and I'd go, I'd make some silly sound, and then I wasn't good about erasing that. Well, he found those, and he made a- Compiled a a little- He made a little thing that he played at the Christmas party. Oh. Yeah. um, How long was he He doesn't work for us anymore. (laughs) He doesn't work for us anymore. That's a great idea. Everybody thought it was hilarious, except me. But I have since then been a lot more careful. About leaving things up on the computers here. That is the interesting part about the office here. I mean, we share a lot of computers, and there's opportunity for that to happen. So your fact or fiction question of the day, Kyle Bauer, being the industrial mechanical engineering mind that you have. All right. The Queen Elizabeth II is a cruise liner. Moves around six feet for each gallon of fuel it burns. Fiction. Or fiction. Fiction. Really? Six inches. It's six inches. Did you read my sh- No, I did not. Over? I, did you keep that on your computer? Because I normally look <laughs> through that ahead of time. Yeah. No, I've read that before. Isn't that staggering? Six inches on a cruise ship. Yeah. It's That's just staggering. Amazing. And yet, one of the most fuel efficient but, ways to move cargo around the world is by boat. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Well, that was the thing I was going to say is some of those cruise ships are realistically you you have a small uh Midwestern town. Absolutely. Enclosed in a ship. Absolutely. I mean, the size of town we're from, that it would with the crew and everything, that wouldn't even be a big ship. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so, moving all yeah. of that you know, a gallon of fuel doesn't seem very significant. Um, in the good old days, they didn't burn fuel at all. They right. just burned crude oil. Oh, crude oil. Yeah. And that's why oh, you see I thought see you were going to old... go back to coal or wood well, when they I, had the steamships. Well, that's steam probably ships. true, too. But uh, like in World War II, you know, you would see you would see videos of, of boats that had black smoke coming out the top. Right. And it was literally crude oil. They would they would maybe try to make sure it got most of the water out of it because crude oil has water in it. Sure. Uh, but, yeah, and they just heat it up and spray it in there. and, and Burn. And burn, baby, burn. The cost of processing wasn't very high. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, and I suppose when you're out there on the high seas, yeah, uh, you're not a lot of pollution. You know, the neighbors aren't complaining about the smoke. Well, excuse me, during World War II, the uh, smoke coming out of a ship was probably insignificant to all the other pollution that might be going on, like sinking and burning ships and airplanes and well, that sort of thing. All that lead flying around in the air didn't help either, <laughs> I'm sure. I have heard that lead poisoning can be deadly. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jamie Bloom, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. See you next week on Farm Factor. Closed captioning brought to you by Egg Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at eggpromosource.com.